I spoke with Jared of Dice Camera Action about the Waffle Crew and his advice for D&D players. My character is Diath Woodrow, uh, who is a human rogue, and uh, it's a character I've been playing for a long time. It's I, start, I started using him uh, in 2nd edition AD&D, uh, and then really started playing him a lot more come 3rd edition, uh, but thanks to Dice Camera Action, this is like the most I've ever actually got to play DF and the highest level he's ever been to and the most fully realized and fully fleshed out he has ever been. I always enjoyed playing rogues because what interested me about the class was not was the not combat stuff. I, I don't really care about getting sneak attack damage or backstabbing. I like the stuff where it's like sneaking forward and picking locks or detecting traps or disabling the traps or using magical devices. That kind of Utility is really fun to me rather than just being a damage dealer. My subclass is a thief, uh, but the way I play DF is that he is not a thief in that he goes around and stealing things, so his sleight of hand is purely for disabling traps. He does not pickpocket off of people at all. I was the first member of Dice Camera Action actually decided. Uh, Greg Bilsland had approached me and said, hey, we have this idea for a show. We think you'd be great for it do you know anyone else who would be an excellent party member? And I said, I do know a couple of people. So I was actually, I was like pretty much the first one and I helped gather the rest of the crew. Starting out, I, I kind of kept DF a little more subdued because I didn't really know what, where to place him and how he's going to affect things. Uh, and then it became very quickly clear that the party needed a pragmatic leader <laughs> to kind of like steer the party like in the right direction and make important decisions uh, and then everyone else is very funny like everyone is very funny on the show and to help make them funnier you need a straight man so Dieth uh, ended up being kind of the more serious down-to-earth character rather than a uh, more comedic one a lot of times I ended up playing D&D so much because I'm always the dungeon master like I always I love the crafting a world and creating up these challenges and stories for whoever is playing in my games. Uh, so I, I just always enjoy that creative aspect of it. So that's why I always, I've been playing it for so long. And then as a player, I keep coming back to Diath because uh, a lot of his personality traits are just bits of me put into him uh, and just enhanced tenfold to like really exp so like it's, it's a lot of me uh, right in there whether it's uh, physically or emotionally or how he would react or handle situations uh, so I enjoy him so much because like it's how I myself would try to react or uh, handle whatever fantasy situations he ends up in especially if, especially when it comes to first characters if you put a piece of yourself into it you'll get more attached to them, you'll be able to better role play them, you'll be able better be able to just play them and like mechanically and then if something horrible happens to them like you'll want to fix things or want to make it better or uh, have a desire to 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 improve uh, whatever it is happening so like if there's a piece of you in that and you have that kind of uh, investment into your own character you're basically also investing into yourself and everyone likes themselves one of the things I do with uh, being a dungeon master, and it's something I've really been trying to improve over the years, is I am not I am not the person writing the story. Like I've got like the setup and the NPCs are meeting up, but it's just not my story. It's everyone's story. So as a dungeon master, you gotta realize that everyone there has a story to tell and you're telling it together, rather than the players experiencing just your idea of what could happen. So a big thing I've been really practicing on and trying to improve on is making sure that everyone's ideas end up being vital to what's happening in the adventure.